He's an accomplished singer-songwriter, and he plays the guitar. Daniel Aid is the lead singer for a local band. He's had to overcome a giant obstacle to make it to the performing stage. 90s reporter Corey Rose has his story. The lines of scars you trace. Some say the gift of music has healing powers. For some, more yeah. than others. Daniel Aid is the lead singer and guitarist for a local band called White Leather. His love for music began when he was eight. My dad had an acoustic laying around the house when I was growing up and he used to play folk songs and I would sing along. It was just a few years later, while on vacation with his family in Mexico, his dreams of becoming a professional musician almost came to an end. I was up on a balcony and there was a cement wall. I placed my hands on that wall to look down into the street. I guess there was a high tension power line on the other side of the concrete that I never saw. But the force of it blew me backwards off the building and I landed on my skull and fractured it like six inches. I spent uh, the next two months um, in intensive care at a Shriners Hospital with a burn unit. After several surgeries, Daniel lost his right hand. I can remember one really bad day in the hospital. I started thinking about guitar and just like, well, that's probably not gonna happen. But he was determined to play again. My dad and I sat down and we started working on uh, basically the exact same thing I use today, which is just uh, two paint stirring sticks with a pick, uh, just epoxied inside. My dad makes these. Then it was all about practice. From there it was just like fine tuning basically my elbow to create all those movements of a, of a wrist. Daniel stayed positive and says he just had to find new ways to do everything. I absolutely think that I've embraced who I've become. I really. I don't know, I like who I am because of it. And says he wouldn't change things even if he could. In Denver, Corey Rose, 9 News. <laughs> Daniel's band, White Leather, will perform in two upcoming Battle of the Bands contests in Denver. If you'd like more information about the shows, go to 9news.com.